Yo, Darius Spit here, and today we are talking about why I love the cheap kit lens. A lot of kit lens bashing out there. Time to set the record straight, fool. Well, I do believe it about that time to get into it. Clap on, clap off. The Clapper. So it's a kit lens. A kit lens is a lens that you can purchase along with the camera when you buy it from the manufacturer. It's like a starter lens, basically. When I bought my Canon 60D back in 2011, it came with this 18 to 135 millimeter zoom lens. You can get this kit lens for about $300 if you buy it separately. You can also get an 18 to 55 for about $200. Super affordable by comparison. Nikon and Sony, they also have their kit lenses as well. If you look all over the internet, people are trashing the kit lenses everywhere. But here are a few reasons why I like the cheap kit lens. One, it's actually, it's really affordable. I mean, considering what you get, it's actually like really, really good for the price. Two, it's a zoom with a range of useful focal lengths. It's kind of like having a whole bunch of lenses wrapped up in one. Three, if you're new to filmmaking and cameras, then the kit lens will actually allow you to learn how to use your camera. Four, if you shoot with a kit lens for a little while, it gives you an opportunity to figure out what works for you and what you need out of a lens. And also, if you keep an eye on the focal ranges while you're using the kit lens, it can help give you a really clear sense of what focal ranges you tend to use as a shooter. It didn't take me long to figure out that I really like wide angle lenses. I like shooting wide. I mean, go figure, even everything I'm shooting here is on like an ultra wide. Five, having the kit lens gives you coverage while you try other lenses. You can borrow them from friends, you can borrow them from family, you can get them from lens rental. You try a couple lenses that you're not wild about, you can always just throw the kit lens back on and keep shooting while you figure out what to try next. Drawbacks. The build quality can be a downside. I mean, some of them are I mean, they're made of plastic. They're not very durable and they feel kind of cheap depending on which ones you get. The one that I have at least has a metal mount, but some of them are just straight plastic. We've got the whole variable aperture thing happening. When you zoom in, the aperture changes. You'll get lens breathing when you rack focus, which is definitely not what you want when filming. I talk all about this kind of stuff in my intro to lenses video. I'll leave a link in the description section to that. They tend to be slower lenses. Sure, the low light capabilities aren't the best in terms of image quality they tend not to be the sharpest a little softer in comparison to other lenses so you might have to sharpen the image up and post a little bit here and there if you're new you're not really gonna notice this as much but I will say in the right hands with the right light at the right f-stop it's really really tough to tell the difference between a kit lens and a more expensive lens considering how cheap these lenses are in comparison to other lenses you're not really going to get anything significantly better unless you're looking to spend a lot more money my story when i first got my camera with the kit lens i was pretty much just like everybody else the first thing i'm thinking about is like upgrading my lenses i need this lens i need that lens i need and then i got those upgrades and i realized something wait a minute not much is really different the quality is just it's not drastically better and then as i learned a few things and i got more experience under my belt i noticed that my aesthetic started to improve but it but it wasn't the lenses that did it it was me it all boils down to what you know if you know what you're doing you can get really nice results with pretty much anything even a kit lens sure the kit lens has limitations but everything has limitations what else is new rather than push against them how about we learn to work with the limitations if you know that the lens can't handle low light very well then don't shoot in low light situations or just add light yes the images may not be as tag sharp as you like but last i checked none of us are up to win an oscar for best cinematography anytime soon we're all still learning here. Focus on story, focus on lighting, focus on framing. There are plenty of other skills that you should be working on and then when you upgrade those nicer lenses, you'll know how to get the best out of them. I still use the kit lens. Depending on what I'm shooting, I'll usually bring it as a backup. I understand its limitations and I know how to get the most out of it. This lens really holds a special place in my heart because I shot a lot of projects with it when I was just starting out and I really learned some invaluable lessons with this guy. I'm gonna share a video that I shot a while back with an organization. I'm sharing it because I only used the kit lens in this video, so I thought it would be appropriate. And, you know, I mean, I think it turned out good. I'm still proud of it. So we all want our kids to grow up healthy and strong. Getting your kids to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables is a great start. Here's a few easy snacks that they'll love. Now, first up, we've got the Fruitland Shake. You'll need a blender, one cup of low-fat milk, one cup of frozen berries, one cup of spinach. Dump it all in there. Blend till smooth. Mmm. 
simple magic. Next up we've got crispy taquitos. Let's do this. You'll need tomatoes, leafy greens, green onions, corn tortillas, cheese, toothpicks, don't worry we're not eating them, some beans, a little cooking spray to get it crispy, beat the beans, apply beans, layer on the cheese. Let's roll this bad boy up. Off to the oven. Boom! Pile it on. Banana crunch madness. Cereal one, cereal two, yellow banana, peanut butter, sticks, skin it. Cut it in half. Make a pile of cereal. Stick them. Slather with peanut butter. Be generous on this one, don't hold back, the more the merrier. Stop, drop, and roll it like it's on fire. Tasty madness. French bread pizza, cheese, canned tomatoes. So for all you noobs out there, I hope this is a compelling argument to say that there is absolutely nothing wrong with the kit lens. Embrace it, I promise you won't get cancer using it. In my opinion, it's probably the most important lens you'll ever own because as a starter lens, it gives you time to learn about the camera, it gives you time to learn the basics of filmmaking, and it gives you time to figure out what type of shooting style you like. I mean, that, that's, that's a lot. Well, I do believe that's all that I got for you. I also do chat with me sessions for those of you out there who have a ton of questions about filmmaking and where to get started or what to do next. I will leave a link in the description section if that is something that you were interested in. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, go subscribe. You can also find me on the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Oda Twitter, baby. You can also check out my second YouTube channel, Darius Brit, where I vlog about my adventures on the film festival circuit with my first feature-length film, unsound, live casting, vlogs, etc., etc. I do believe that's all I got for you, suckers. Deeper down. Booyah!